It has been running 24-7 for the past 30 years, controlling the heating and cooling for more than a dozen GRPS schools. Now the district says they're hoping to replace an ancient computer with taxpayer dollars if a bond measure passes. And 24 Hour News 8's Danny Carlson asked leaders why they didn't replace it with the previous bond money they got. She's in studio control now with the story and the answer. Brian and Sue, they originally bought the computer with bond money back in the 1980s, but the warm, safe and dry bond passed in 2011, nearly 30 years later. We just passed the warm, safe and dry bond a couple of years ago. This seems like the definition of keeping GRPS warm, safe and dry. Why weren't those funds used to replace this? Uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of projects, a lot of, a lot of needs in the district. <clears throat> um, so there's, uh, there's other priorities that we have to put in place ahead of this. This system is still running. Bringing stocking elementary out of mothballs, replacing boilers, removing asbestos. Those are some of the projects GRPS chose to put on the warm, safe, and dry list before the Commodore computer. Because we were told it still works. So how long do you think it can keep running? Today, tomorrow, who knows? The equipment, yeah. the monitor, the mouse, the hard drive, everything about it was cutting edge back in 1985. It uses a radio frequency to communicate with 19 school buildings, telling them when to turn the heat and air conditioning on and off. With some of the walkie-talkies that you guys have, it might actually interrupt the signal. Because they share the same frequency as our maintenance uh, communication radios and operations maintenance uh, uh, radios, uh, depends on what we're doing. Um, yes, they do interfere. It's on the list to be replaced if voters approve a $175 million bond this November. But if it just stopped working, you guys would be in. We look for eBay, which is where this one came from. The use of eBay was for those hard to find parts. As you can imagine, there's a lot of them. Taxpayers will be asked to vote on the bond measure in November. Live in studio control, Danny Carlson, 24 Hour News 8.